this is Mrs. Baston, and I'm going to go over a couple of these problems with you if you're having a hard time getting started. So remember, when we're looking at these, you can go from atoms or molecules to moles to grams. Okay, now you're not going to need all three of those every single time, but that shows you the pathway so you can kind of figure out where you're going. So when you see one of these, you're always going to start with a number that's given in the problem. So I'm starting with 2.4 grams of Li, and I want to end up in atoms. So if I look on my little pathway up here, that tells me I'm going to need two steps. So I'm going to have to go from grams to moles first, then from moles to atoms. So when you're looking at this setup, whatever unit is here is going to go on the bottom of the next bracket. Then, depending on what that unit is, that tells you where to get the number from. So for this one, if this is grams, that number has to come from the periodic table. So I need 6.94 grams of lithium, and grams from the periodic table is always on the other side of one mole. Okay, so now I'm only a mole, so I need one more step here. So now grams is canceled, but I need to get rid of moles. So then moles has to go on the bottom, and for now, the only thing in front of moles is going to be one. And then I want to end up in atoms, so I need to use 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms on the top. So moles will cancel, I'll be left with atoms. Now when you use exponents on your calculator, we're going to do 6.02 EE23. So we're going to use the exponent button instead of hitting times 10. That way, that will make sure you don't introduce extra decimal places. So once you've got this set up, I'm going to multiply going across, then I'm going to divide top to bottom. So 2.4 times 1 times 6.02 EE23 divided by 6.94. So if you do all the math right and use the calculator right, you should get 2.1 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of Li. So if you got the correct number here but didn't get the right exponent, then that means that there was something going on with the exponent button on your calculator. So try it again. Use the EE. Don't hit times. Don't hit 10. And if that's still a problem, come see me during FTT and we can go over that tomorrow. Okay, the next one. This one, we want to know how many grams are in 1.5 times 10 to the 24 atoms of KCl. So now we're going in the opposite direction. We're starting with atoms. We have to go to moles. Then we can go to grams. So I'm still going to start with the number that's given in the problem. So you always start with that number because then that tells you where to go next. So 1.5 times 10 to the 24th atoms. And then I need atoms to cancel out. So atoms has to go on the bottom. And the only number that can go on the other side of atoms is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. That's equal to one mole. So anytime 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd is one side, one mole is going to go on the other. So now I'm in the middle, but now I need to go to grams. So moles, so atoms cancels. Moles is what I need gone next. So I'm going to put one mole on the bottom. I need to end up in grams. So the number that goes in front of grams is 74.55. So that's the molar mass. So to get that, we're doing what we did yesterday, where you add up 1K and 1CL. So then again, 1.5 times 10 to the 24th, or 1.5 EE24, times 1, times 74.55, divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Again, 6.02 EE23. So if you do that right, you should get something close to 186 grams of KCL. So know that your numbers may not match mine exactly, but as long as we round to the same place and our exponents are the same, then you're in good shape. All right, last one, then you can try the last two on your own. How many grams are in 3.7 moles of sodium? So this time, I'm starting in moles, but I only have to go to grams. So this one is only going to be a one step. Again, starting with what they give me in the problem, writing all the units down because the unit tells me what to do next. So if moles is here, I want moles to go away. It goes on the bottom. The only number in front of moles when it's as a conversion is 1. And I need to go to grams. So grams needs to end up on the top. The number that goes in front of grams comes from the periodic table. So again, I need the molar mass of NaOH. I'm going to take 1 Na, 1 O, and 1 H, add them up. I'm going to get 40.00 grams, or something really close to that. Then I'm going to take 3.7 
times 40 divided by 1. That should give me 148 grams of NaOH. Okay, so do the best you can with these. These take a few days to get the hang of. Um, you can come see me during FTT tomorrow if you want to go over a couple of things or if your calculator is still not working right. Um, and we will review all of this stuff in class tomorrow.